Hi my friends, uh, welcome to this new video. Since a few weeks, I'm looking for a way to do ambisonic multi-channel sound and music uh, with my system here. And uh, today I would like to show you a system I discovered named Envelope, Envelope for Live. It's a system that allows you to do real ambisonic and multi-channel on Ableton Live. Because maybe, as you don't know, that Ableton Live is not the better platform to do uh, multi-channel uh, processing. Actually, you can do it without the max, some Max for Live utilities. So, I found this thing. I think it's it works. It works pretty pretty good. And uh, yeah, I would like to just introduce it to you in this video. So, let's go. Okay, so here we are. We um, going to my computer screen right here and um, we're on Ableton Live this is a very blank session actually it's my template session that's what everything started for me and um, I have here as you can see in my browser here I have this envelope for live um, uh, folders uh, a folder on this folder we have many many things and that's why it's very interesting to work with envelope but for today because it's very discovering video and we'll see the simplest way of doing uh, this ambisonic experience on Ableton Live so what we need to do now is to put in headphones because of course it doesn't work with uh, speakers for the moment because in the future I will show you how to to do real um, uh, exploration of uh, multi-channel because if you see the previous videos I install a very cheap <laughs> and, and uh, system here okay so here we are um, actually I can can start with very, something very simple let's say we'll put a, a loop somewhere I don't know because I have so many loops okay let's say we have this hi-hat here on another track and what I just need to do, basically, that is very interesting, is to find here my um, my source panel, the uh, E for hell envelope for a source panel, and I just have to put it on my track. So I have this source panel, and as you can see, my track uh, audio two goes directly to sends only. And this is really interesting and then just what you have to do is to put I have to can any uh, track it can be an audio track and it, or it can be a return auxiliary track maybe let's do it with this over audio track and, and I just have to put my master bus in the track here and boom and now when I'm come back here, you can see here in this part that my the output of this little plugin goes to my master uh, E for Hell master panel here, and the name of the track automatically go, uh, became uh, E for Hell master. And they said in the documentation that you must let the name exactly like it is. So everything is okay right now. In my master bus panel here, I will let everything as it, as it is. So binaural, because you will use headphones. And my monitoring, what you have here, is on, in my case, in monitor 1 plus 2. So it's my output 1 and 2 of my audio um, sound card. And maybe just you can see here that we can output or encoded audio to real output. I mean, uh, physical output. We'll do that. Used to know you can use it with a polar coordinate or y um, x y z coordinate, and we can stay in stereo because my loop is stereo or use mono and because we have stereo we can spread our left right here with this 
little thing. We have three um, control here. One, two, play with this azimuth, I mean the rotation between your head, the elevation, and you have the signal going up and down, and the radius to make it closer or far uh, than you, and far away than, uh, of you. Okay, closer and far away. So let's try it. Just the telephone on, and let's try. So we have this range here and the range here, as you can see, it's can, it's uh, about the maximum distance uh, represented by the panel. So if I put it further, okay, the the distance is higher and the distance is closer. Okay, maybe what what you can do now is to use. Uh, let's say an LFO something to make kind of automation of a rotation. And you can see here in our masters the 16 channel um, ambisonic playing. Hey, my friend, as you can see, it's a very interesting and very simple way of doing ambisonic of multi channel on Ableton Live. Of course, this is just the first video about envelope. On the part down below, we'll put all the links for you to discover um, Envelope uh, software and their story. And the website is very interesting. We'll discover many, many, many things. So we'll be back uh, very soon uh, and we'll continue our exploration of this uh, Max4 Live um, suite of software. And especially because we we will see that we they also uh, provide um, FX, I mean multi-channel and ambisonic FX. Uh, so we'll continue to explore, maybe in next video, maybe one video after, because I would like also to show you another um, possibilities, another tool to uh, create and imagine thing in ambisonic and multi-channel. This thing is named SPAT, it's from the IRCAM, and so it's a bit more complicated unit, but I think you can imagine more things so for the moment let's please download uh envelope if, if, if you and if you want you can make some donation because it's a very hard work to do and it's very interesting and and it can save uh her life as musician creator composer so let's go thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already do it and yes see you in the next one bye my friends Thank you.